Texan Global School, Trigonometric Functions. In this class, we will analyze processes to graph trigonometric functions with a composite argument. It is very important to remember the previous class in which the behavior of each of the trigonometric functions with a simple argument was described. Again, we present the sine function, the cosine function, and the tangent function. We can see that the sine function is the same as the cosine function with an amplitude of 1, but shifted by 90 degrees or half a radian pi. And the tangent function has asymptotes, so it tends to infinite. Let's remember the detailed parts of each function. A is the amplitude of the function. B is a positive constant that will determine the magnitude of the displacement or phase shift dividing alpha by B. X is the independent variable. Alpha, the phase angle, which shifts the graph to the left or right. The period of the function is the minimum length of the interval in which the pattern of the function repeats. And you get as 2 pi over B, or simply subtracting the endpoint minus the initial point. Any part of the graph that shows that pattern is called a cycle. The process for graphing involves first identifying the amplitude of the function. Next, set the argument equal with 0, pi over 2, pi 3, pi over 2, and 2 pi. These are the elements of a cycle with exact values of the function, which will determine the points of the cycle. Finally, graph according to the behavior of the single argument trigonometric function. For example, we will graph a cycle of the following trigonometric function. We will obtain domain and range. We can see that the numerical coefficient is 5, that is the value of the amplitude of the sine function. It means that the sine function with a single argument grew from 1 to 5. Now set the argument 3x minus pi over 3 equal with 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. To graph, simply copy the behavior of the sine function, but with an amplitude of 5 and the values obtained. It results pi sixths. This means that the first point of the cycle is no longer 0, 0. But in pi 6, 0, it means that the single argument function had a shift of pi sixths to the right. The second value obtained is pi thirds. Let us remember that the sine function with a single argument rises to its maximum amplitude of one in this second calculated value of the cycle. In this case, it is up to five. Then the sine function goes down again, now at pi over two comma zero, and continues to a minimum point. In this case, two pi thirds comma minus five. Finally, it ends this cycle at 5 pi sixths comma 0. The domain goes from pi sixths to 5 pi sixths. If we subtract these values, we obtain the period t of 2 pi over 3. And the range is determined by the amplitude, which is negative 5 to 5. We can see that the behavior of the sine function is not altered. It simply becomes larger or smaller depending on the numerical coefficient of the function, thinner or wider, with more or less offset depending on the plot. In this other example, let's graph a cycle of the following trigonometric function. We will obtain domain and range. We can see that the numerical coefficient is 2, but since it is tangent, the amplitude tends to infinite. Now set the argument 4x plus pi equal with 0 pi over 2 pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. To graph, simply copy the behavior of the tangent function, but in the values obtained. Since we got negative pi quarters, this means that the first point of the cycle is no longer 0, 0, but in negative pi quarters, 0. It means that the single argument function had a shift of pi quarters to the left. The second value obtained is negative pi eighths. Let us remember that the tangent function with a single argument tends to infinite in this second value since it is an asymptote. Afterwards, the tangent function goes from negative infinite and passes at 0, 0, and tends again towards infinite at the asymptote located at pi eighths comma zero. Finally, from negative infinite, it goes up to pi quarters comma zero. The domain goes from negative pi over four to pi over four. If we subtract these values, we obtain the period t of pi over two. And the range is determined by the amplitude, which goes from negative infinite to positive infinite. We can see that the behavior of the tangent function is not altered it simply becomes thinner or wider with more or less lag, depending on the argument. Texan Global School Global Online Learning Knowledge for the World
www.texanglobalschool.com.